Well, welcome back. In the last episode, we checked into our accommodation, watched the sunset over the wrecks at Tangaluma. We made a daybreak dash to North Point, and now we're back to put some of what we've learnt into the Saturday night golden hour. So grab a refreshment, and we hope you enjoy the second part of our escape to Morton Island. Morning guys, it's, um, what do we got? It's just after 5am and we're just heading off to do another sunrise shoot, two in a row. So um, we had a huge day yesterday, so it was um, a couple of drinks, we did some, we um, actually did some editing, just had a look at some stuff on the, on the computer and made some pretty good photos, it's fantastic. So we are uh, heading over to East Beach to the corner. We exit the beach to catch the sunrise this morning. There is something special to be able to watch the waves as they spill onto the shadowy sands as the first glimpses of a new day dawn. With all that has happened this year, we feel very privileged to live in a place where we can enjoy this experience. Don't you worry, we took a few moments to immerse ourselves in this special moment. Thank you. 
I didn't know how hungry you could get taking photos with our host putting on a snack before brekkie. Well, it would be rude not to participate, wouldn't it? After our snack, we were all sugared up, so it was a small climb to the headland which none of us could resist. Where we again were blessed with stunning views and the odd whale. Dolphins over here too. Like straight in front of them. There was a couple of dolphins before. Tried to fill in the cracks that were spread. 
After another fantastic breakfast at the castaways, we vacated the accommodation and headed back to the eastern beach to do some more exploring. Houston, we have a problem. Twelve seconds later. So here we are up at the gun emplacement. It's on the uh, on the eastern side of Morton Island. Man, it was a big gun. Let's see if I can get a photo. Let's see if there's any photos in the archive of the uh, the original gun. In here by my breath, there's a little bit of a steep incline. They've closed all this off. We were here oh, quite a few years ago now, and uh, it was. You're actually able to get up around it. But it's now totally unstable and likely to fall over, so they fenced it all off, unfortunately, but I guess safety is important. During the early stages of World War II, coastal fortifications were built around Morton Island. On the western side of the island lies Fort Cohen Cohen and Rouse Battery on the east, where two 155mm guns were dropped off in early March 1943. These would make up parts of the defensive system of the Brisbane coast to protect the port. These defence systems include anti-aircraft emplacements, command and battery observation posts, underground rooms and accommodation for those officers and men involved. While much of the remains have now sunken into the sand, some of the concrete fortification can still be seen. This gives us a timely reminder and an opportunity to reflect on the history of the island. Well, like most things, they must come to an end, and we arrive at Tangaluma to meet the ferry for our return to the Brisbane port. And here it comes now. Okay guys, you've just seen the uh, MyCat uh, dock for these people that are getting off, it's the beginning of their journey. For us that are going to get on it, it's the end of our journey.
but it has been an amazing Friday, Saturday and today Sunday um, that we have done. It's been absolutely brilliant with Carlisle and the photography tour that's just great. Uh, you most probably will. Yeah. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Kilby, Kilby, Kilby. Ah, gotcha. Got you. Beautiful, two of you. Thank I, you. I brought her over, guys. I brought her uh, take her home. Not much to say really, Captain Liz has said it all. What a fantastic weekend and the island always delivers. We hope that you've enjoyed the journey and we look forward to having you come along on the next one. We appreciate your support and feedback. And if you've enjoyed this trip, please consider hitting the like button and maybe subscribing, it does mean a lot to us. If this is the type of trip that you think you might enjoy, then get in touch with Carlisle at Four Wheel Drive Touring Thanks guys and stay safe.